Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit. I haven't talked to you guys since I finished up that 3 for 30 walking challenge, which was a blast, by the way. We're out today on a little cruise in the 70 GTO. It's my dad's car. He passed away two years ago today, so I thought it would be fitting to take a little ride. Plus, I thought I should check in. I've been meaning to post some other videos, but I've been so busy, I've been running with my head cut off. Not sure which way is up or down anymore. There's a few different challenges I had in mind. I haven't got to them either, but that's kind of why we're here today. I'm here to kind of report what my next plan of action is. If you've been following me before, you know in my last few videos, I was talking about getting back on track with my health. And it's something that needs to be done. I think I'm gonna vlog about that. Maybe it'll give me the motivation I need to push through. I weighed myself yesterday morning. I was at 192. For me, that's ridiculous. I gotta get that back on track. Also the past 40, 50 days, my atrial fibrillation episodes have been kind of out of control. Much more frequent episodes and much longer episodes. What I'm hoping is that ties in with this extra weight and my worsening eating habits. So we got to get that stuff back on track. And hopefully when I do start eating right, when I mean eating right, I don't mean cheating here and there, because that's really not an option, I'm sorry. I know some people say it's okay, it's all about portion, yada yada, and it's really not. I mean, if you put something shitty in your mouth, it's something shitty, period. Obviously, the less shit you put in your mouth, the better, but regardless, it's never okay to put shit in your mouth. It's just not. In my mind, I think I've been eating okay. And maybe for most people it is. But with my heart and my worsening condition, there's really no room for error. So it's time to buckle down and take this seriously. Hopefully my heart thanks me. And it's just a challenge. Ironically, two years ago, my father, my dad, passed away from stroke complications due to heart issues. Maybe not the same issues I'm dealing with, but some of them are. I'm 47. I'm having way too many difficulties for that age. But there's not much I can do about that. I mean, there is. That's what I'm going to do. I got to take this into my own hands. And the best way to do it is to live as healthy as possible. There's no medicine in the world that can replace a healthy lifestyle. It's as simple as that. Anyway, like I said, I weighed in at 192 yesterday. Last March, at the start of the pandemic, I weighed in at 171. So that's 21 pounds. To be honest, it kind of crept up on me. I didn't know I was gaining weight until towards the last few months. But last summer and fall, I was switching out all my large t-shirts to mediums. That was the sign things were going array. I was putting on some of them t-shirts I bought and they were very snug. I tried blaming it on the wash, <laughs> but I knew better. Shortly after that, I even noticed some of my pants around the waist were getting a little tight. I knew I was in trouble. So now it comes to what am I going to do about it? Well, I know what to do about it. I just got to make sure I put them plans in action. I've been trying to do this for months, and I keep falling off the wagon. We gotta hop back on and strap myself in. There's 
no excuse to hop off anymore. The plan in a way is very simple, but yet it's pretty hard in this day and age. It comes down to eating real food. That's it. Leafy fruits and vegetables, berries, strawberries, blueberries, meat, preferably grass-fed, organic, wild-caught fish, nuts, seeds, healthy fats and oils. And you know, avoiding the junk, avoiding breads, dangerous oils, juices, what else do I, oh my biggest weakness is sugar. Sugar is what got me in this mess. Especially them damn chocolate chip cookies. God, I love them things. <laughs> so maybe here on out, I'll do some vlogging about my process. Maybe I'll share some meals I'm making, showing you what kind of foods I'm buying and eating and show you some kind of foods that maybe you shouldn't be buying. There's a lot of food out there that people think is healthy, and a lot of it isn't. I've been researching this stuff for many, many years. I know what the hell I'm doing, but yet I still fell off the wagon. And that's the hard part about this, in the society we live in, especially when everyone around you is eating a certain way. It's easy to fall back into them traps. But you gotta be stronger than that. That's the only way it's gonna work. You gotta be able to go to the party and not eat the cake. You gotta be able to go to the party and not eat the white bread on the hamburger. That's how it works. And that's the only way it will work. If you cave into those things, you're not gonna succeed. I just said a road that was closed. I had to turn around over in Harrisville, Wisconsin. Maybe there's something going on over there for the weekend. So for me, it's really pretty simple. I have a choice. I can choose to jump back on the wagon and dig in hard. And hopefully in turn, my heart pays me back for it. Because recently, what I've been doing has not been working and my heart's been telling me it hasn't been working. And I plan on riding this heart out to the end. This is the one I was born with. This is the one I plan on keeping. So next step, take this stuff seriously. Get back on track, no bullshit. Even if that means pissing off the people around me. Hopefully they understand and support me. Or I can choose the standard way of life. American diet. Going to the doctors. Taking all the prescriptions. Going through all the procedures. But yet ending up in the same predicament. Or even worse. So I'm going to choose taking this shit into my own hands. You basically got the choice of both ways. Pick one. Unfortunately, there's only one that works. And the one that works is taking your health into your own hands, putting the right stuff in your body, and seeing where that takes you first. If you do that, and you do it right, and you know you're not cheating, and you're still having the problems and issues, that's when the healthcare system can maybe come into play. But if you're not doing all you can for yourself first, you're doing yourself a disservice. And I know what my heart wants. And my heart doesn't want white bread, I'm sorry. My heart doesn't want cookies. My heart doesn't want pizza. My heart wants real whole food. And that's what I gotta give it. It's getting hot here. It's supposed to be 94 today in Wisconsin on June 5th. That's pretty out of the ordinary, that's for sure. Anyway, we're heading back to town. We're gonna have a pool day, relax, and I'm not gonna eat no crap. I know this was kinda hodgepodge together. Hopefully I can make a video out of it. We'll see. 
hopefully I can continue to make some content here I was just worried I was boring everybody but what are you gonna do <laughs> if you want to follow my journey on this get back on track challenge make sure you come along for the ride maybe you can fit in the back seat of the GTO thanks for watching I'm gonna go enjoy this hot day we don't get many of them in Wisconsin I'm probably boring you guys so I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of the day I hope you guys do the same and we'll see you next time